Thermodynamics. It comes in many forms here at NC State, but chemical engineering students know it best as Chemi 315. But whether it has become the bane of your existence, or a class that you actually enjoy, what do you actually think about when you hear the word thermodynamics? If you're a chemical engineering student, chances are you think about something like this, a rather large explosion brought about by some form of heat or energy. And if you aren't thinking about folding that green engineering paper and turning it in week after week, you can't help but think about things like this. Systems, surroundings, work and heat, going in, out, back, forth, what's positive, what's negative, and who can forget the first and second laws for steady flow open systems. Of course, we probably only think about these things because we are chem students, so certainly there must be other things that come to people's minds when thermodynamics is mentioned. So what do students think about when they hear the word thermodynamics? I decided to find out. So what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word thermodynamics? Nothing. Nothing at all. I don't, like, fail, maybe. Okay. Yeah. So Because I don't you... understand thermodynamics at all. Cause... Explosions. Torture. <laughs> Submarines. Oh, man. I don't think I can use that word. <laughs> mm, thermodynamics. Restlessness. Thermodynamics sounds like something that involves heat and that has a lot of parts to it because it says dynamic. So, it sounds like a lot of heat bigger. Warmth. Hard classes and smart engineers. So, what's the first thing that comes in your mind when you hear the word thermodynamics? I have no idea. <laughs> okay. So, if you had to give me a definition of the word, what would it be? Thermodynamics? Yes. I have no idea what that is at all. So, if you had to give me a definition, what would it be? Thermodynamics? Failing Chem 101. The heating and cooling of the engines in submarines. A lot of heat. A lot of heat, possibly. Um, the study of energy transfer? Um, mm, how heat works. <laughs> That's all we got. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, the, in the interaction of energy via heat. Okay, so if you had to give me a definition, what would it be? Um, it was probably, I would say that it has to do with heat exchange. But. Dynamic hot stuff. <laughs> so we've seen how other students perceive thermodynamics, but what happens when you ask chemical engineering students those same questions? So what's the first thing that comes to mind when you hear the word thermodynamics? Pain. <laughs> um, confusion. Okay. Uh, and, and long nights, mainly, is... You know, the long nights you spend doing homework, when I think about thermodynamics, I'm not really sure, you know, what I could have done with those hours. Probably sleep. Mmm, <laughs> heat transfer. He doesn't think. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is I don't want to say sleeping in class. <laughs> Dr. Hall. <laughs> not good things. Empathy. <laughs> Jeez, when I think of thermodynamics, I think of uh, all the mass and heat flow balance equations. What else? Oh man. All the different uh, Carnot cycles and throttling processes. And if you had to give me a definition of the word, what would it be? A definition of thermodynamics? Yes. Uh, probably how heat affects molecules and systems. Um, lots of time on homework. Really low grade. <laughs> uh, the way that heat flows through objects. That sounds really basic, but I guess that's my definition of thermodynamics. So no definition can be complete without consulting the experts. So let's find out what some of the chemical engineering professors had to say. If you had to give me a definition of thermodynamics, what would it be? Ah, stuff that's way harder than Kimmy 205. So I'm very thankful that I teach Timmy 205 and not thermodynamics. God bless Dr. Hall. I'm going to give you a definition. Uh, the way things behave at equilibrium. 
what can I say? I've, I've been doing kinetics for 40 years, and it's either moving or it ain't, so it's either kinetics or thermal. <laughs> Uh, from a scientific point of view, thermodynamics is just a section of science that deals with a, a description of any energy transformation, right? So thermo, uh, thermo stands for what? For temperature and dynamics, it's a flow, right? To change. So, and how do you, what do you describe? How do you determine uh, energy through series or through a set of the external parameters? What is it? Temperature, pressure, entropy, and all other things. There are many definitions of thermodynamics. Webster's New Collegiate Dictionary calls thermodynamics physics that deals with the mechanical action or relations of heat. Perry's Chemical Engineering Handbook refers to thermodynamics as the branch of science that lends substance to the principles of energy transformation in macroscopic systems. But of course, for the true definition of thermodynamics, we can go nowhere else but to the thermo goddess herself, Dr. Hall. All right, so what is the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word thermodynamics? I think beauty. It's a beautiful subject. I love it. I've made my living from it, and the people who love it, I love too. Okay, so if you had to give me a definition of thermodynamics, what would it be? Well, you know what dynamics is, right? Dynamics is motion. So thermodynamics is the motion of thermos. Thermos are little bots that run around and carry energy. They go from system to system and system to surroundings. And their motion is such that their numbers never increase, except at night when they turn green. And that's the definition of thermodynamics. So from dynamic hot stuff to little green bots, we've seen that people's definitions of thermodynamics can vary. However, thanks to Dr. Hall's class, we as chemical engineering students can leave with a little bit better understanding of what thermodynamics really is as we continue to use it in our future.